The Masons? You should, you should be a Freemason. I was invited to join them once. Let's talk about that. How'd that happen? I know a bunch of Freemasons. And, in what state? Uh, Where were you living at the time? Because you in lived. Indiana. Okay. Mm -hmm. You didn't want to join? Well, I mean, they seemed <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> they seemed really because okay. When they tell me this is like okay, look, we're not a secret society. We're a society of secrets. I'm like, what? <laughs> that deterred you. That was only part of it. You should be like, I mean, that sounds secretive. I mean, you just pretty much said the same thing. You just put the words bas backwards. Okay. But, I mean, I'm not saying that they are what they are. These guys just seemed a little too, I don't know, weird. You ma they made you nervous? They made me nervous. That, I mean, they could have been racist. I mean, I'm not about racism or, or, or they seemed a little more clan oriented than Freemasons. Mm, okay. I mean, from what I know, I mean, I've. You, well, you live in Alabama, so you know about the clan. You know, I mean, it's everywhere. So, I mean, that's maybe not they wanted everywhere. like maybe their initiation, they're gonna like fucking your ass or something. I don't know. What if you got down to it and like, okay, this is sick, this is great, and then they're like, all right, one more thing for Freemasons. No. They're like, one more thing. You that's, ready? That's not going to happen. This is what's going to happen. That's not going to happen. <laughs> let's just. You're like, okay, no. Let's just back it out that way. That's not going to happen. But anyways, they just seem, they seemed a little, yeah, they seem, you know, I mean, when you got something that's big. But why did they approach you? Maybe they thought I was the typical male white guy. Yeah, I mean, because all of them, at? all of this was in Indiana. No, no, like where were you at? At work. You had Freemasons at work. They got to work too. That's the this, on the application. It doesn't say uh, are you a member of a secret society or a society of secrets. <laughs> oh, you're not hired. <laughs> I mean, you know, I just go to work. You meet people, and and they wear secret rings, right? The, the, the ring, it's like a gold ring and it's got a black stone and it's got the G and the, and the compass on it. And I was like, Oh, and I didn't know at the time. Right. I was just kind of, I didn't know what Freemasons were. And I'm like, Oh, that's a cool ring. And it's like, Oh, Hey, come talk to me. Oh, okay. and, and then, and then we start talking and I was like, Oh, and then he, Oh, Hey, let me go get my brother. Who's really not his brother, but it's his brother his Freemason brother. And then he starts talking to me and then I talked to like four or five of them and they're all, it seemed almost uh cultish. Yes. I, yeah. So, but I don't think that's the way the Freemasons were designed. Would you ever join a cult? Uh, I think I'm probably not. I feel like you could, I, you, you look like someone who would start a cult. Well, I mean, I could probably get people to follow me, but I wouldn't do that. You ever see the movie Midsommar? Probably not. You have to watch that. You and Lisa. Is it on Netflix? I think so. Or... I'm thinking not. Otherwise, I would have seen it. <laughs> I'm going to find it. It's on some yeah. streaming service. I got Netflix. Okay, well. And Disney Plus. Is it on Disney Plus? Definitely not on Disney Plus. Prime time? Prime? I got Prime. Maybe. Amazon Prime. Maybe. Probably got to pay for it. Midsummer, Yeah, dude. I don't like paying for stuff. Movies. You work 12, dude. You're good. That still doesn't mean I want to pay for when I got thousands of movies for free. Okay, but to watch one good movie, pay one ninety nine. You know, it's three ninety nine to but, rent. But anyways, yeah, to rent. <clears throat> Midsummer. It, what kind Midsummer. of movie is it? Summer. Summer or summer? I think it's summer. Or do you got speech impediment? It, no, it's summer. Sama. <laughs> you picked up a speech impediment in Tennessee, <laughs> right? No, mom. The, when it's hot summer. <laughs> it, I gotta go make the cow. They're not that bad. They don't okay. talk that bad. I mean, there's a couple that talk. No, like, they do. They talk like Mater from Cars, but <clears throat> yeah, not all of them. Y'all so. go fishing, catfishing, no. noodling. No, that's illegal as fuck. That's not illegal there. That's like the state game. That's what I they thought, do. No, I thought noodling is illegal. No, why would that be illegal? They're catching catfish. Okay, listen. First of they're all, they're not using fishing poles. They're using their hands. All right. That's that's like that's the ultimate game right there. That's I want to see people go hunt and use your hands. You can, well, you, I want to see prostitution legal. 
<laughs> Why you keep jumping on that subject? Let's, that subject's over with, okay? No, look, okay. Look, Midsummer is a it's a cult movie. It's 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 wild. It's crazy. I don't know. I don't know how they get people. They I don't got know about that. It'll scare you. That's not hard to do when it comes to movies. I don't like movies that deal in paranormal. It's not religious, paranormal. Exorcisms, cults, Charles Manson. You never seen Exorcist of Emily Rose? No. Dude, that, I've seen the first, ex, the original Exorcist. That shit is ass. When she's on the bed and the bed's all shaking, it looks like a fucking... It was like watching, I was laughing. It looked like a comedy. I, I think you're watching the scene from Scary Movie. No, no, no. Okay? <laughs> I don't think no. you've seen the original, <laughs> no. the 1972 yes. Exorcist. Yes, the original one and the one from Scary Movie is kind of the same. Whatever. It's just okay. It's like doing that, and like I'm yeah. laughing, and my dad's like, "Dude, that was scary back in the day." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah when you were fucking four. Y'all probably haven't seen the the unedited version, but anyways, so it's a it's a cult movie. Yeah, it's a good movie. So it's trippy. We'll see. Okay, is it a real movie? No, it's not based on a true story. Well, I could watch it then. Okay, but it's probably happened. So. Probably did. I mean, everything's probably happened. Charles Manson, that was a cult. Yeah, dude. Is that weird? That, that someone could go to prison for life and he didn't kill anyone? Do you know he didn't kill no one? Yeah, I know, but, dude. Okay. Oh, no, I get it. Okay, my, okay. You're he told right. someone. That would be me say, hey, Dallas. I want you to go in there and grab my green butcher knife and... Go down to Food for Less and just start stabbing people. And give me some non-fat milk. Because <laughs> now we can plead insanity. And then you can go do it. And then you come back here and the cops come in and be like, well, he told me to do it. I was like, dude, I just told him to give me some milk. I just want some non-fat milk. You know Should what? I go to prison? That, that, no, that's, <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's weird because my thing is. I mean, I know there's a little more to it than that. I'm not going to. I'm not trying to like. Simplify what he did. I know he deserved to be in prison. He's a freaking nut job. Yeah, you're just playing devil's advocate. I'm just, I'm just throwing things. Yeah, We're you know, we got to be a little. We got to be a little. Sparking a convo. We got to be like, you know, we can't. Uh, okay, because my I understand. Because my, my thing is like when you're talking to someone, yeah. and then, uh, <clears throat> like, say I cuss a lot, right? And, and I'm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's say you cuss a lot. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> okay yeah. so let's say i cuss a lot mm -hmm. and then someone around me doesn't cuss a lot but they like me <laughs> but continue <laughs> they start to cuss more often oh, yeah. from being around me pressure peer pressure no i don't subjective, care how subjective but i don't subjective. care how you talk and right. then they start cussing more and then they right. get in trouble and then they come to me like dude who, wait wait who got in trouble for cussing no no i'm just saying four <laughs> Okay, we're in, okay. Let's say okay we're in elementary school. Yeah, okay, we're in, we're in fourth school. grade. Yeah. Okay, yeah, and I'm cussing. That's called like subjective. How? I'm not. I and then they're saying, "Oh, you're, I'm. I got in trouble because you. I cussed and I'm around you and you cuss all the time." So you, you ever you seen made, Star Wars? Listen, you made me cuss. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make you do anything. I didn't make those words no, come no, out no, of your no. mouth. Yeah, yeah, you didn't make me. Okay, so Marilyn you Manson introduced it to me. Okay, but I shouldn't get in trouble for that. I'm not saying you should. I don't think you should. I could talk however the fuck I want to fucking talk, and that's exactly. how I fucking talk, then fuck it. I, I wouldn't. I, See how universal that word is? I'm not saying fuck. you should be in trouble for it. That excuse doesn't fly with me. Okay, so why it, is Marilyn Manson in prison forever if that was your reason? You mean Charles Manson? <laughs> Wasn't Mar isn't Marilyn Manson like a singer? Yeah, my bad. Charles Manson, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Why is he in prison? <laughs> Because he used no, no. Jedi mind tricks. He he you know he took advantage of simple minded people. That's gave not him his acid, fault. Gave him LSD. Gave him a sexual revolution. And kind of like the government when they like do uh, mind mind experiments on people to try to brainwash them. Oh yeah, that's that uh, MK no, Ultra. The MK Ultra. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So like which he, he was kind of supposedly tied to that too. Yeah, I know. You know. So I heard that from Joe Rogan. Yeah. So, I mean, so he was just kind of, he's a, he was, he was probably like prosecuted, like as a cult leader that, you know, everyone looked to him as God. So 
It's almost like an abuse of power. They threw God in prison. Well, they executed Jesus. So, I mean, <laughs> that was the original first uh, I persecution. Yeah, I guess you're so, right. How can the government say that's abuse of power when they do that all the time? Because it's Should the government. They all go they to prison? Could, they could, I mean, the government, it is what it is. I mean, there's things that the government does, and there's there's parts of government that doesn't communicate with other parts of government. And there's so many secrets in the world, in the country, that, I mean, well, no one knows. That's the problem. No one knows, right? Everyone's got plausible deniability or, or hey, check, check that building over there at the Pentagon. And you try to go in there and they're like, no. You know, Area 51, whatever. I mean, everything's like... There are no answers. There's answers, but there are no answers. What do you think about 9-11? There, you know. you Because you had a different thought, and then you started listening to that fucking podcast yeah. on Spotify. And then your whole shit changed, and you well, went because, down a loophole for a while. You were in the because, dark. Because you don't know, right? You How do you know? You can listen to something, a podcast, or the news, or a documentary, or or an Arthur, or whatever, right? It could be the president. It could be anyone. You can only take what they say for face value. You don't know You don't know what their evidence is, blah, blah, blah. Maybe you do. Maybe you know some. So how do you know what to believe, what not to believe, right? Yeah, I know 9-11. I watched 9-11 happen live. I watched it. Got off work. First plane hit, hit, and then everyone is on every channel. Right. And we're watching the whole thing, the Pentagon and the plane that went down in, in Pennsylvania, watching it all. And I'm just like, what the heck? This is like stunned. Right. So, yeah, there's stuff out there that's that, that uh, there, there, there are reporters or, or whatever you want to call them that say there's evidence that's saying the government or people in the government may have had something to do with it. That that. There were people that worked in the building that that should have been there that weren't there. I mean, is that true? I don't know. Well, and then but they're saying that. Yeah. So people can say that, and it's easy to get wrapped up in it, right? It's easy to hear someone speak and and have all these like details and and all these, and you're like, but you can't fact check it because everything is so on the DL or hidden or buried. It's like the Kennedy assassination, right? What happened there? Everything's archived and, and hidden and did the government do it did the mafia do it did lee Har no lee harvey Arfield didn't do it one man didn't do that two i mean but you know you throw in Mar uh, marilyn moreau you know an affair with him and her brother and his brother and just all the ties he had to the mob and everything the mob got him elected president right then his brother went after the mob when he was appointed da or, or whatever they call him, the the head prosecutor. He He's like, I'm going after the mob, and now they both now they're both dead. Where's the mob? <laughs> running running an entire state. <laughs> oh, Bafungu, forget about it. Kennedy's, <laughs> you know. But his dad, the Kennedy's dad, he had connections to the mob. That's them and the Teamsters. They got him elected yeah. president. Well, because it wasn't, and the, then they turned on him. Wasn't the big controversy that he was Catholic? Yeah. What is what is the mob? They're all from I don't know, Italy. <laughs> I the, know the, I get it. The, the, the but, founder of Catholicism, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I get yeah. it. But my point is that people like people were like had an uproar about that, didn't they? Yeah. This they is a Christian down. country. Is that, he was probably the first and last Catholic ever elected. Now no one's like no more questions about religion.